Okay, so guess what? I just did the video. I tried to send it to my subscribers and didn't do it. Did not do it. I am really disappointed at the YouTube facilities where I tried to send you people a simple video. A simple video that I had directly uploaded. I spent about I was gone. Wasted five ish minutes of my life out the window. I'm honestly I'm outraged. This is not fair at all. I will be contacting somebody um about something, probably not this. Yeah, I don't really care about this that much, it's just kind of annoying. Uh, yeah. If you think this isn't a dramatic enough response, I'd like to refer you to my, um, Look What You Made Me Do video that I posted earlier today. And that's the response you'll be looking for. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna read my story now for the cool people. Because you can tell that if you've got to this point, you must be super awesome. Because nobody, except for cool people, would watch past this point. Yeah. The snow was still falling. It drifted from my cold fleet. Fleet? Drifted fleet? What is this Starship Enterprise? I'm really sorry, um, my nose is completely blocked up because this cold is killing me. Right, let's go. The snow was still falling. It drifted from my cold feet. Splashed from my cold feet. What are these magical snow feet? Uh... Okay, right, from the top. I'm going to try to do without any mistakes. The snow was still falling. It drifted from... Okay, the snow was still falling. It drifted to my cold feet, splashing through the melted slush from the night before. My steps squelched along to the, the, the my steps squelched along with the tune that was coming from my iPod headphones. I tried to achieve a similar effect with the fog that drifted through the air when I let out a breath, but ended up looking like a cartoon train belching smoke. Several minutes later, I gave in and sloshed my way through the school gate. Coat, peg, door, clothes. I sat down in the only free space among a gaggle of giggling pigtailed girls. More than a few looked over at me before... F before... F More than a few looked over at me before fueling the giggle... More than a few looked over... There, there, there. More than a few looked over at me before fueling the, gig the giggled whispers for another few minutes. At the end of it all, a slightly embar at the end of it all, a slightly embarrassed, half apologetic look from Amber told me what why they thought I was here. Amber, were they serious? Could I not be friends with a girl without every female in my life and out of it jumping to the same wrong conclusion? That was pretty cool. Um, I wanted to write that as a six-year-old when I finished that. But then I realised I'd given him an iPod, which wasn't a good idea if I wanted him to be a six-year-old. So, yeah. That was kind of off the top of my head when I wrote it, but... Yeah, what are you going to do? I will now improvise a story for those of you who have actually managed to survive four minutes and twelve seconds of me rambling. Okay, here we go. Through the winter fog I strode calmly, my dark trench coat swooping through the night air like an eagle. I could feel the gun in my pocket, its tip still warm from the robbery. The body in the back of my trunk was bleeding slowly. It's no, I don't like where this story's going. No, not good. Actually, that could be quite a good story if you start like that and the whole time they think there's somebody um who was the robber 
and then in the end it could turn out they were trying to stop the robbery they were a cop and they were shooting it and the bodies in their trunk because it was um someone who got shot at the robbery that would that would be quite a good story yeah um so there you go that's an idea for any of you writers out there just go with that yeah don't know what that means i think it's rock on and just yeah okay bye